everybody. Uh, right, there uh, have been um, some interesting uh, findings regarding coaxial cable as a, uh, and I'm going to call this a coaxial capacitor. What we've got here, 50 turns of standard uh, 75 ohm household uh, coaxial cable. Um, as you can see the braid has been taken way back from the centre conductor which is uh, connected to our HT output from flyback transformer. Flyback transformer driven by uh, RMC uh, pulse modulator. We've got 14.8 volts on the power supply. Just wanted to show you uh, uh, some interesting things. So we'll start the thing up. Um, as you can see we've got a small spark going there. Um, across the spark gap which uh, is earth to the uh, earth termination of the HV uh, flyback transformer uh, and then we've got that connection going through a 40 watt light bulb um, to an earth ground which is a rod outside the, the house um, anyway I'll just uh, show what the uh, Differences when you uh, when we bring in the you can see the coaxial cable is acting as a you notice we've got a good old flash over in the light bulb there. So that's um, come up to the other side. be able to hear that but I can feel quite a draft from that but what is interesting is if you notice the intensity by grounding it at this end of the coil and then if I quickly come quite a big difference even though theoretically it's the same Your cable as a good HV capacitor. Um, it's quite a good, uh, as you can see. is gone now. That feels quite cool. I'm assuming that's a sort of ion wind. But you see what I'm saying although that is exactly the same sheathing it's quite a big difference in uh... anyway that's phase one of a series of experiments using coax thank you for watching cheers